Hello, I'm a fourth year NSI student. I heard you were interested in the engineering science program. I am applying to engineering science because I heard it is a very difficult program and I want a challenge. Oh my god. Why would you do that? My guidance counselor said I should go to engineering science because I have a 99.8% average. So did most of the 100 people who dropped out of my class. I think I can handle it. I did AP. In your first year, you will be required to take seven courses, each of which is at least twice as difficult as the equivalent course in other programs. I want a challenge. You will cover two entire years of civil engineering in one course. That sounds like fun. You will be required to learn abstract mathematics which are completely useless for any practical application. I took AP Calculus. You must take two communications courses called Praxis, which are exclusive to Angsai students. What is Praxis? I have no fucking clue. What sort of things will I learn in Angsai? In your second year, you will learn fluid mechanics, statistical mechanics, quantum mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, crystal physics, vibrations and waves, physical chemistry, statistics, differential equations, digital logic, computer organization, vector calculus, and electrodynamics. At the same time, you must build a motherfucking autonomous robot. I think I will definitely come to Angsai. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you realize that, even after you learn all of this material no one, not even your mother, will give a fuck? I think you are just bitter. During second year, I pulled 37 all-nighters, lost 25 pounds, went bald and became permanently nocturnal. I had to have my stomach pumped after I ate new hoking too many times. Meanwhile, my cumulative grade point average is less than one half of my friend in industrial engineering who never does any work. I think you are exaggerating. That's what my psychiatrist told me. Tell me about the different anxiety options. You could go to the nano, physics, biomedical or aerospace options, in which case no one will hire you. You cannot even apply for a job, because there are none. You can also go to the electrical and computer option, energy systems, or infrastructure options, in which you will compete for the same jobs as the people who were smart enough to drop out of Angsai. Won't I have an advantage being from Angsai? Are you fucking kidding me? I am interested in the biomedical option, because I would like to go to medical school after finishing Angsai. So not only are you so fucking stupid that you want to do this useless four-year torture program, but you are also so retarded that you think you will get into medical school afterward? I read the brochure. That guy in the brochure did it. That is one guy. There were 299 other people in his class who had their souls crushed and are probably in a psychiatric institution right now. What about the nano option? That sounds really cool. Yes, it is very cool. You do the hardest two foundation years in North America, so that you can take the same upper year courses as arts and science students who haven't been sober in over two years. What about the aerospace option? I want to build planes. Are you an American citizen? No. Then good fucking luck finding a job. Do you have anything positive to say about Angsai? Well, the common room is pretty awesome. If you have no sense of smell. Okay, one last question. How is the finance option? Oh my fucking god. I'm going to go stick my head in front of a 3-watt laser.